why, yes, Southern California Edison has turned off the power for quite a few hours. So, uh, perfect excuse to do a DIY project outside while the weather is beautiful. And I'm going to paint. Yeah, I'm going to paint my fence. <laughs> Why not, right? I'm going to be using a bunch of acrylic paint just that I have laying around. <laughs> yes, perfect weather for painting a fence. And for those who know and those who don't know, the fence I'm referring to is the one that is made of, you know, mixed match wood, just all kinds of wood. And uh, filled in the gaps, whatever. This is the fence that has been built twice. The first time I built it, my neighbor, who's not so nice, destroyed it because she was mad that I built the fence to hide the view of her trash. I had to sue her in court. I won for her destroying my property. And the judge said, go ahead, build it again. So did the city. So I rebuilt it, but yeah, it's still mixed match wood. And so the paint I'm gonna go with, of course, is mixed matched. <laughs> just bring it all together you know yeah it's such a pretty day out i'm gonna take advantage of the sunshine and no electricity <laughs> and do some painting that's right i'm gonna start painting that fence that my neighbor and i have had such a battle over <laughs> do what i did at the salon and add water and throw <laughs> yeah paint plus water equals stain <laughs> Shake it up and wherever it flies, it flies. Yeah, wherever it lands, it lands. <laughs> yeah, I like the way it's starting to look. I'm going to do a lot of different colors. <laughs> this will oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be adding some glitter, <laughs> perhaps a little metallic. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm going to be using <laughs> a lot of different colors. Ah, <sighs> okay. I still got lots of paint left. They're still working, and definitely painting outside on a beautiful day with no electricity available is a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, instant stain, paint plus water. Yeah, mix match paint for a mix match wood fence <laughs> with bamboo and just random things screwed to it, tree trunks, etc. Okay, spice berry. I'm pretty much sticking to like the earth tones, golds, browns, you know, reds, maroons. It's kind of like dyeing Easter eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna use some paint up to where that label thing is and the rest is water. And uh, mixing it all in the same bottle each time. And I'm testing it here first. Yeah, okay. Bamboo, whatever. <laughs> Getting it off. Okay. It's coming along. Yeah, no electricity, perfect weather, lots of paint, <laughs> perfect excuse. <laughs> Works on the rocks, too. <laughs> okay, going for some ripe tomato orange. And obviously, you know, the more concentrated, the more intense the color. Hmm. Okay, the power clearly is still off, so I'm going to go take a run to Wally World <laughs> and see if perhaps I can get some, you know, actual wood stain, perhaps in the color of gray, and then just dab it here and there just to bring it all together.
ebony. I like it. <laughs> and apparently it's my lucky day. <laughs> two dollars. Okay, mm -hmm. so two bucks. Quite the deal, really. 32 fluid ounces. I'm going to see if this one's also on special. I don't know. I have to go check. Yeah, I'm thinking I can do it like the, the like the black, the ebony, maybe gray on the edges and make it look like charred edges. Okay, let's see that price. Yep, ebony, two bucks a quart. Okay, this is the gray. Could I please have department manager Adriana? Yeah, see, that one's not on special. On special. Definitely not on special. <laughs> okay, so the big one's two bucks, and I found one more. It's also two bucks, and it's smaller. But two bucks, what a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I just found. Really amazing glitter <laughs> paint. Oh my. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little of this too, the burnt amber. Yeah, I got to get this glitter just because. And I'm snagging some stars. Mmm. I'm hungry. Alright, um, just leaving Walmart. And I got a good deal. I talked them into, uh, Dropping the price of the wood stain, the ebony, the little guy, to one buck. So I got a cord and a pint for three dollars of the ebony rust-oleum wood stain, which will, I think will be okay to just put on the edges, you know, make it look uh, kind of rustic. <laughs> and uh, I put back the glitter because that was six bucks. <laughs> well, it looks like the electricity's back on. <laughs> yeah, those are my security cameras, so uh, <laughs> electricity is back on. Okay, I'm going to test this thing out and just pick a spot that's kind of inconspicuous on the fence. <laughs> yeah, right. There is no inconspicuous spot on that fence. This fence itself is not inconspicuous, you know. <laughs> it definitely looks black. Almost like a blue-black kind of ebony. No, it's definitely black. Yeah, just a little dab to just try it out. Yeah. <laughs> I think this will be good. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, that's the effect I'm going for. <laughs> Yeah, just go at the edges. Okay, I just emptied the 8 ounce one. Tomorrow I'm going to open up this one. Managed to get all of that and through here. Also, just painting some random ones so that when I go to put them up, they're already painted. Good morning. I've got my coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, another day to do some painting on that fence. That's right. <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm going to start off with some more acrylic paint right now. Some burnt umber. Yeah, black and brown kind of mixed. Yeah, I'm going with like black, then brown, then some more black, then some more brown. <laughs> Just kind of mix it all together. Okay, I'm going to add a little water to this black because you know the water makes it go further. <laughs> yeah. It's getting there. Black, brown, add water, <laughs> and then just kind of paint it on. And I'm doing the, the brown separately from the black, and then that way it just kind of blends it all together, I think. It makes it look more like camouflage almost. Yeah, when you can't find a <laughs> wood stain, just take the acrylic paint and add water. Yeah, the acrylic paint goes a lot further once you add the water. <laughs> the 
Yeah, I gotta go to work today, but I want to get this part finished <laughs> before I go. Yeah, black and brown combined gives it kind of like the wavy effect. <laughs> Watercolor effect. Alright, so first I did the splatter with all the different colors. And now I'm covering it with the browns and the blacks. So it picks up the undertones. Kind of like when I do hair color. <laughs> it works, you know, when it dries, you're going to see the other colors underneath it a little bit. Yeah, just put it over the other colors. And when it dries, it picks up the undertones. <laughs> I just realized I'm due and working about an hour, so I gotta jump in the shower. Gotta stop for today or at least until I can get off work. Progress. Yeah, I gotta quit the job I'm doing in order to <laughs> go to the job that pays my bills. <laughs> yeah, acrylic paint and water makes sense of stain. Yeah, I like the fact that it picks up a, a different tone depending on what color I put it on. It really is just like hair coloring. I'm also going to be adding some garden stakes, whatever, just points. So, yeah, different colors for sure. Okay, that's what it looks like on the red wood. I also use the same stain concept on the bricks. Actually works pretty good on the bricks. I'm going to use the rest of this stuff, open it up, whatever. At the end of my project, just kind of go over and just kind of, you know, <laughs> do the detailing. And this project's probably going to take me, you know, a week or two, only because of the fact that I've only got about an hour each day to attend to it. Because, you know, <laughs> I have other things i got to do. <laughs> but this is definitely a pet project. But I think it's coming along the way I want it to come along. Oh, and since my neighbor, you know, <laughs> did destroy the other fence I built, I definitely don't want to invest too much money <laughs> into making this fence look a little better. I've been using, you know, the little paint brush. I'm going to see if by any chance I can throw some paint in my spray bottle to get around those areas that my brush just has a hard time getting around. Okay, I mixed up the paint in there, poured it in here, give it an extra good shaking. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. I'm making sure no one's on the other side, even if it is my main neighbor. <laughs> want a sprayer. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> it is definitely working. Okay, I hate this tree, not just because I have to clean up after it all the time, not just because it flooded out the house and caused $50,000 worth of damage. But because I always got to clean up after it, yeah. <laughs> Look at that jet. How many years has it been since any yard work has been done here? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I put up the chicken wire to hold the fence in place. <laughs> and to make sure if she goes to take it down, she hurts herself in the process. <laughs> got to keep the, the chickens in, you know? <laughs> The spray bottle actually seems to be <laughs> quite effective. Yeah, I got 73 feet of fence to stain, but, you know, nothing prevents them <laughs> from doing the same thing. <laughs> but obviously, you know, if they haven't done yard work in like 20 years, I'm guessing they're probably not real big on painting either. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, yard work, definitely not their thing. <laughs> Okay, just assessed what colors I have still. Yeah, I'm done for today. <laughs> got more to do tomorrow, of course. But I definitely got enough of my own paint that I don't need to go out and buy any extra at this point. But I definitely plan on using this last just to do like a, you know, finishing touch kind of deal. Yes, I've been busy. <laughs> Looking good. Put in all the rocks, the mulch, the pavers. <sighs> yeah, looking better, looking better, I think. I like this little extra walkway, especially when it gets wet <laughs> back here. It's easier to walk on this. Yeah, I think that dark wood looks much better while, you know, in contrast against the, the red mulch. And when the plants start coming in, when it gets greener against the darker, it's going to look really good, I think. Plus, of course, all the the lighting, the night light with the darker background will make the lighting, I think, stand out even more, too. <laughs> and definitely with all this happening right here, you can't tell there's a total trash can on the other side, right? <laughs> and maybe mine looks tacky, but I still think tacky is better than trashy. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, I've pretty much finished staining the fence, and I, I didn't do it the traditional way. I, I didn't use a spray gun. I used a, a spray bottle here and there, and that worked. Uh, basically just using a little brush, doing it by hand, because it's just my preferred method. And the majority of the fence, you know, I did the... Uh, I threw, you know, like splattered different colors on it first <laughs> just to give it undertones. And yeah, I went with the browns and blacks, mixed it up, acrylic paint that I got at Walmart <laughs> and just paint that I've had laying around, you know, and mixed it with water and did it. And it works. So, you know, it's not the, yeah, professional way to do it. And probably not your preferred method, but it's a method that works, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, you know, it's like dyeing Easter eggs, really, truly, because, you know, one coat, it gives a bit of color, and then the longer you let it sit there and it dries, it gets more intense, you know, if you add another coat. So I think I am going to add one more coat, because even though I'm finished and it looks good and I'm happy with it, I think I want it to be a little more intense, and besides, yeah, I still got a lot of paint left over. <laughs> so I might even paint a picture or on a couple of panels. I don't know, but, um, yeah. And then, of course, use the actual, I guess, stain that I got, you know, because I still got 32 ounces of it. <laughs> and I, it will, I, I'm going to do the edges and make it more intense looking. Why not, right? But, uh, yeah, my method, obviously, is not the preferred method. It's not a professional method. But it's a method that apparently works. So if you decide you want to maybe do something to your fence or your bricks or your rocks or anything, really, 
go with mixing the, the paint with some water and make it be like a stain. And then that way, you know, it's easy to do, <laughs> I guess. And you can do it at your leisure, you know, here and there, whenever you're in the mood to do it. And, uh, well, I guess thanks for watching this video. If it's been helpful, great. And if not, well, thanks for watching the video anyway. <laughs> Bye.